Today we're going to speak about the number one selling multi-generational community in the U.S. called Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch is a master plan community located on the west side of Florida and is in Manatee in Sarasota County. So this is somewhat confusing to people. Lakewood Ranch is not a city or a town, but rather a census designated place that feels like a town, which means Lakewood Ranch is a community that resembles a town but does not have a municipal government and it's not incorporated. In terms of where it falls within counties, there's an easy way to look at it and it's really a rule of thumb and that is if Lakewood Ranch is north of University Parkway, it will fall within Manatee County. If it is south of University Parkway, it will fall within Sarasota County. There's some exceptions to this, but for the most part, this is a really good way of starting to look at it. Lakewood Ranch is a relatively new community. The first neighborhood was developed in 1995 and is called Summerfield. And since then, the area expanded into this master plan community, which now has over 42,000 residents and over 18,000 homes. And it continues to grow because of its popularity. So home buyers appreciate the newness of the area. And because Lakewood Ranch is a rather new community and evolving, people there tend to be very friendly and open to making new friends since it's likely that they do not have an established network as of yet, which makes Lakewood Ranch a very welcoming place to move to. With all the activities that Lakewood Ranch puts on throughout the entire year, it really does facilitate making friends more easily. For example, on the first Friday of the month, you can enjoy music on Main with a DJ, dancing, there's plenty of dining options. There's also a farmer's market, which is every Sunday at Waterside Place. You could also enjoy seasonal polo events. There are plenty of holiday celebrations throughout the year. When it comes to activities, the list goes on and on. Lakewood Ranch is also a very self-sufficient community. So it's built on approximately 50 square miles with two main downtown areas that offer plenty of dining, shopping, entertainment options. There's also a movie theater and the Lakewood Ranch Medical Center. So all the essentials are just a short drive away within Lakewood Ranch. Lakewood Ranch is kind of like a bubble within Manatee County and Sarasota County. But if you wanted to venture out of Lakewood Ranch to say downtown Sarasota, the Ringling Museum, or the world-renowned beaches such as Siesta Key, it's within reach, right? Just a car ride away. The University Town Center, which is the premier shopping destination in Sarasota, also known as UTC, is adjacent to Lakewood Ranch and so very close and perfect for somebody that just loves a good shopping experience. Lakewood Ranch has a very open feel, and if you take a car right through it, you'll get a feel for it. There are lots of trails and nature preserves in the area. Approximately 40% of Lakewood Ranch is designated for recreation. So if you're a cyclist, a walker, a hiker, you could appreciate approximately 150 miles of multi-use trails. And when it's not so hot outside, you'll see many cyclists and active people just taking advantage of all this open space. The area is also very well taken care of and reminds me of the neighborhoods in the movie Pleasantville. And if you've seen the movie, you'll probably know what I mean. Because of the popularity of Lakewood Ranch and the massive growth in the residents over a short period of time, Lakewood Ranch is fast evolving. There's been plenty of new construction communities that have sprung up over the last few years, but most exciting to me was the opening of the new waterfront area called Waterside Place, which opened towards the end of 2021. And Waterside Place sits on a 36 acre peninsula. And when all business tenants are established there, will include all sorts of restaurants, stores, cafes, and its own lifestyle activities coordinator. So when we look at downtown Lakewood Ranch, I would say that's going to be the premier downtown area in Lakewood Ranch once all tenants are established within Waterside Place. Now, I've been to Waterside Place often, but it was the holiday celebration in December that was very special and extremely festive. I know we're really far away from December, but once we get closer to it, make sure that you go to Waterside Place and experience the festivities there. There are plenty of different communities in Lakewood Ranch. As a matter of fact, there are over two dozen villages which vary in types, right? So you can choose from non-gated communities to gated communities. There are resort-style living options, 55-plus communities, and golfing communities. To get a good feel for these villages, refer to the lakewoodranch.com website and go to the villages page. It will provide you with the entire lineup and detailed information when you click through it. 
As a matter of fact, this entire website is a great resource for you to study if you're seriously considering living in Lake Orange. And I'm gonna put a link to the website down in the description section. Now here's a tip for you. If you're interested in current or new construction homes, work with a realtor. You gain insights, support of someone looking out for your best interests, and someone you can lean on for support while you're not in town. And many of you are probably not gonna be in town. Now if you choose a realtor, make sure though that you conduct the first point of contact with a new development with your agent present, right? So if it's in person, or let your agent be the first point of contact and register you at the community online. Because if you register your name with a new community and the Realtor is not present or listed. So let's just say you walk into a community, you're excited, you talk to the salespeople, you give them your name and you don't register your agent. It is likely your realtor will not be able to assist you in the new construction process anymore. That's unfortunately how this works. Liquid Ranch primary and secondary schools are consistently A rated, but these ratings are somewhat subjective depending on what you believe is a good educational approach. Now to obtain initial school information, you could refer to niche.com just for direct information, but I truly believe that there's nothing better than speaking directly to a school representative and learning the teaching approach and how the school stacks up to other schools in Florida. How much does real estate cost in Lake Orange? As of April, the median sales price for a single family home was $950,000. That's a staggering 85% price increase from the same time last year. It's crazy. Now I prefer looking at the median price, which is the middle of the data set. But if we look at the average sales price, it was $989,000 in April, up by about 49% versus April of 2021. Now single family homes are very sought after in Lakewood Ranch and prices have shot up, especially over the last few months. Condos will be more affordable. In April, the median sold price for a condo was $445,000, which is almost 59% higher than the same time last year. The average sold price was $550,000, up by 27% from the same time last year. So Liquid Ranch has gotten very expensive, very fast, and many of those buyers that waited for the market to crash in 2021 are now priced out of the market. Now, some of these buyers are instead looking at places such as Parish, which is more affordable and about 20 minutes north of Lake Ranch. So if you've considered Lake Ranch, but you now feel like you're priced out of the area, you may want to consider Parish. And I suggest that you just look into it. It might actually work for you. Why would you want to live in Lake Ranch? Lake Ranch is great if you have the budget, if you can afford living there. And if you want to live in a place where everything is close by in the neighborhood, you will have two town centers to choose from, like we talked about. There's plenty of family friendly activities there throughout the year. There's a healthcare facility close by shopping on University Parkway. But also because of Lake Ranch's northern location versus Sarasota to the south, if you needed to commute to St. Petersburg or Tampa, it's actually very doable and a lot of those people who live in Lake Ranch will commute up north. However, a drive to the beaches, depending on traffic, could be over 45 minutes. So then for those of you who want to be closer to the beaches, perhaps the better option to look into is South Sarasota, especially Palma Ranch, which is Sarasota's largest master plan community. Palma Ranch is approximately 15 minutes away from Siesta Key and is in the Sarasota County School System, which is highly rated. This video was intended to provide you with some guidance and information to help you explore further. Now, if you learned something new, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and like this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I have new videos uploaded. Now, if you're looking for a realtor in Sarasota County or Manatee County, I would love to be your realtor of choice. Call me, text me anytime. Thank you so much for watching today, especially until the very end. I always appreciate it when you do. Take care.